guys welcome back my beautiful Leah is going to be modeling for me again today so she told me I want to be a butterfly and I said well I need to do an Easter bunny since Easter is coming up so she said can you make me an Easter bunny fly so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys how to morph those two designs together to uh, have some fun with it so we're gonna use this new rainbow cake it's called egg drop and I like this one because I also use it with my Easter egg pink power stencils and the colors come out really good because if you can see it's really those Eastery colors. So I'm going to start off by applying um, my rainbow cake and I'm going to create, the first part I'm going to create is uh, the actual kind of butterfly-ish wings. So I'm just going to spray my cake, I missed it, not in her face, but I like to mist right over the cake. And then um, I load my sponge right over the top. I swipe it across it just like that. Now that I have my loaded sponge, what I'm going to do is she's going to look at me. And about on a 45 degree angle, I'm going to just hold my sponge, ask her to close her eyes. I start on the corner of the eye at about a 45 degree angle, come down, flip it down, and then stipple the color, bring it back up so that I meet. So now you can see I have one uh, piece of her eye. So now what I'm going to do is what I did on one side, I'm going to do on another side. So again, I start off at a 45 degree angle and then I just start by stippling the color, head down, then halfway down, I start again on the bottom at a 45 degree angle and work my way up. That way my colors overlap perfectly. Now that I have the basic shape of my butterfly, now what I'm going to do is create the rest of the bunny rabbit look. So I'm going to come over with the ears and fill in the middle section. So using my, uh, can, uh, this is a filbert brush, I'm going to just fill in using white. And I like to use wolf white because I think it has an extreme opaque coverage. So I'm just loading my brush really well. And when I load my brush, if you notice, I like to fill it all the way until the ferrule of the brush. That way it's nice and loaded and I can paint with it for a while. What I'm going to do is from the corner of the eyebrow right in here, I come up and then I come down almost like a candy cane. And then I'm going to repeat that on this side. So right at the beginning of the eyebrow, I come up and I come down almost like a candy cane. Now is when I use, the reason I like this filbert brush because it also has a nice tip on it so I can feather out this area. Hold on. So I'm just gonna feather out the corner of the ears to make it a little bit more hairy looking considering these are my Easter Bunny ears. So then I just feathered both sides out right there. And then I'm going to create the middle section of my bunny. I'm going to cover all that. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is just create a little bit of a flocked hair right in the middle right there. And again. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is rather than going with your traditional black to outline, I'm going to use... Um, a purple just to make it a little bit interesting and give it the, and still keep with that Easter theme. So I'm going to use a purple as the outline and I'm just going to start off by giving the entire design an outline. Okay, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start here very thin just to kind of dust the edges and redefine that furred like effect. And I come down and notice it's almost as if I'm flicking my brush. That's how I get that very thin outline without it overpowering it. Close your eyes for me. Close your eyes. So I'm going to come right off the edge. I'm also going to give her a little bit, hold on, a little bit of an eyelash right in there. Keep on going and I'm just going to give this area again, same type of outline. make it further and I'm gonna come right down here as well and just kind of give it that same furred effect right into the bottom trace that whole thing down now because I'm on her side of the nose there I gave it a little bit of an outline and now I'm gonna turn her head a little bit more and I'm gonna finish on this side so I just again go with that same really 
thin outline of just doing kind of these furry, wispy effects. Gonna give her her eyelashes right in there. And then what I did there is I'm gonna also come around And since I outlined one side of her nose, I'm going to do the other. And I'm going to keep on going to finish up the entire outline. So I just go in. From the tip of the nose, I'm going to connect onto the top lip right in there. And because she's my girl bunny, I'm just going to create her top lip by actually defining it and drawing it out and then I'm gonna actually open up when she starts stops yawning I'm gonna actually just open it up a little bit wider right in there finish and then I'm going to create these little bunny holes right in there and then the most noticeable part about a bunny rabbit, because this design can kind of go either way until you really pronounce the teeth. So what I'm going to do is using, it would probably be easy for many of you to just use a square brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to draw on her two peg teeth. Right in here. So close your mouth. So you see those fun bunny teeth? And then I'm going to fill in her top lip using some pink, girly bunny. So I'm filling in her top lip right there. And you could go around the edges of the teeth to fill it in too, just to make her fun. And then what I'm gonna do, is just finish up with some last minute little teardrops here and there and dots here and there just to have fun with this design. So right in the corner of the eye, I like to just bring in a few little girly teardrops just to bring it all together because I like that look. I'm going to add a little bit right in the nose and I'm going to add a few more teardrops right there and then right here in the corners of the eyes I'm just going to add a small little cluster of dots just to really bring this a softer then right up here the last last thing and then she's going to be done is I'm just going to put a little starburst right up there for her and then I have to put just a little bit of glitter to make her little teeth sparkle. So then, so right on the cheeks, right inside of there. Okay, then I need you to look in the camera and close your mouth. <laughs> Don't double smile. And then I want you to tell everybody Happy Easter. Happy Okay, stay there and smile for one second. Put your hands down. Happy Easter!